Hello everyone, welcome to another, well, just a look into a mod. Look into mods, basically. Mod review, look into some mods, really all I'm doing. But today, we're looking at two different records. One is a big semi-truck, which is modeled after a Peterbilt. Another one, which is modeled after a modern F750, more or less, or kind of an F650, more of, but hey, whatever. We're just gonna look first at the truck, well, smaller truck one, because why not? Now, you know, you know it's a Ford because there's a power stroke in it, for one. <laughs> and it actually has the correct engines in it, which, yes, they did put a V10 in it. Yes, it was a gasoline. And a V8, the V8 gasoline one, and then the diesel one, which, honestly, they put diesels in many of them. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, sometimes. Now, sometimes how they put the V10 in the other ones. And they also have a torque shift, which is the correct uh, transmission, but the transmission you don't want, because torque shift ain't that great. <laughs> also, you can just have a normal one, which is torque shift for auto gears, one low gear, high gear, the off-road torque shift, which I don't know why it has six gears, and this one only has four, which is to the other way around, but oh well, who cares? Considering you're, there is such a thing as first, first plus, and first minus. That is actually a thing, by the way. That is actually a thing. This, kid, this truck kind of suffers from way too many options. Well, they both kind of do. These trucks both kind of suffer from too many options. <laughs> from firm transmission, from firm to soft, from firm to all of them. And you give them a monster truck suspension, because why not? You can be lifted all the hell and back. Also suffers from too many tires. Too many tire itis. I'm not even going to begin to even go through all of them. They are just too many. Too many tire itis, and then an off. And then it goes to three different yes, which is just entertaining as heck. But whatever. Obviously, you can get with those. Now, the cool thing is you can just get a cab, one facing out of the cab, which is nice, which is just a cool thing, but I like the one on the front. It's, it's, it's better. <laughs> and it kind of also suffers from too many things to put on it. But, as you can see, I only have the wrecker and the smaller, that that's actually the model of the SM50s, little toolbox and spare tires. Now, this truck is fully animated too, which I'm only going to get into a little bit of that because, oh dear god. <laughs> hey, now the fun thing is you just put the Ford mod pops on it, which I like that they actually did that. But, yeah, many lights, different things you can put on, more of that, more of that. And yes, this plow is animated. And obviously you can put all, all these on there. And you can actually check them off too, not have any bumper on as well if you don't want any bumper at all. <laughs> which is pretty funny. <laughs> and just visors don't do much. Uh, sadly, the exhaust does take that off, but you can get the exhaust that comes with the sides. It's in GMC's exhaust. But they did very good modeling, the people who modded this. I know there's a lot of people who actually went into this, but the publisher who published it was the same guy who published one of the other modded vehicles, which includes that Jeep one, which is Puppy Master, that did. That did. He, they did. They, they. Him and his team did this one and this one both, so. Credit where credit is due, they did amazing with that. And surprisingly enough, you can actually customize the inside of this one. But on to the Peterbilt, which is basically what this is modeled after. The fact you can actually put a Cummins in this is actually very entertaining. Or the <laughs> V16, which is essentially the same thing with the game ports in it. I do like how you have a lot of power, but your fuel is terrible with that. It's not completely overpowered. I do like that. As you can hit the balance, all that. I'm too lazy to go find this in Alaska. <laughs> Special off-road, which is normal and fun. Then the R&D one, which is just insane and stupid. <laughs> this one doesn't suffer too much from the too many suspensions because your project could be using too. It does suffer from animation glitches like that. <laughs> and excuse me, sorry about that. And I have the hiccups now. Great. This truck also suffers from too many tire-itis. There are just too many tires to go through. There really are. But, I... Nice thing is, is 
Ah, I got the hiccups now. I'm sorry. Nice thing is this thing also runs off of the heavy-duty winches, which is so much freaking better. <sighs> They're running off of the normal ones, which is nice, even though you can just use the modern ones that are uh, overpowered like normal. And Deflux always enabled. Another thing is this truck also kind of suffers from too many options of customization, which is nice, but at the same time, it's a lot. Honestly, four-wheel drive, well, all-wheel drive. So it also suffers from a lot of different things you can put on it, like a lot. Just way too many. But worth it just focusing on the record part, which it has two different toolboxes on there as well. The tools that are also in the Ah, oh, stupid hiccups. Tools that are also. I can't speak English. I just can't English right now. These hiccups are killing me. Ah, oh, see, so it also has the tools and repair points in there. Funny enough, this thing has a def tank, which. For the year, year of this, it shouldn't. But it has a def tank for whatever reason. Def is diesel exhaust stuff. Diesel exhaust fluid. There we go. My flats, but you're not really gonna do care something like this. All the options for all of this, but you have that light bar on there because reasons, and obvious reasons enough. I don't really get the headlights, so I did. Well, this is the trim. This is the front of it, which you can't really see with that bumper on there. But hey, I like this bumper over this bumper, not because of weight. I just think it looks better. Opinion don't matter. You have chrome. You can. Mate, you can paint it and the same thing with all your gas tanks and stuff. So there's that. And for some reason, you can have a crap ton of stickers that you can put on here for whatever reason. And a Planet Express one because of reasons. <gasps> Not this one though. And recovery servicing. Chrome exhaust, all that. I had the little stock one that you're gonna buy with, which is this one, because I just think it looks the as. I don't really care about the. These very much. I don't stitch too much to go through. So, all the paint you can ever want, to, and you can customize the inside of it, like the other ones. And actually, I have a hood over me too, so that's fun. But I will be showing you one animation because this thing's animation is actually pretty entertaining. Fun that you can do this plow, do this. Do there we go. And do that. And it does work. You really want to play with the ground a little bit. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can do it. As you can tell. That's the only reason why that was on there. And these hiccups are going to kill me. And I'm going to kill these hiccups. <laughs> I want to die. But those are the two trucks. This one just. Everything works on these trucks, by the way. Everything. Your rotator freaking works. <gasps> button. Rotator works in every way you could ever want it to. Your, let's see. Axle, hood. Oh, yeah. <gasps> hoods on both the trucks open as well. And they're both very well. Very well detailed. Like, very, very well detailed. Which is just amazing in general. But yeah, everything works on both the trucks, which is... Oh dear god. Oh, this truck also has a... I don't know if it still has a glitch, but... There's a glitch you used to do with this truck that you could constantly go into high... I think it's the other one, but you can constantly put it in high gear. And it keeps accelerating and accelerating and accelerating, which is very entertaining. Watch. And there's like a no... Just barely room between these tires. <laughs> That could cause problems, by the way. In real life, that close together could cause problems, but one oh, likely it won't. But those are the two trucks. They're awesome, and I am going to go try and go kill these hiccups. I hope you enjoyed, and again, Puppy Master and his team, I'm just going to say his team because I don't remember who all did it, but people who made these are amazing. Credit is where credit's due. They did an amazing job for both of these. Now, you can obviously do more than just a wrecker for both of these things, but the Peterbilt, you're more than likely going to use as a wrecker because there's 
they need to put a rack friendly game to begin with, but anyway. That is it, and I hope you enjoyed, and really, go check these people out. And these are obviously console mods, which is going to be on the name, but you'll know that already. But anyway, bye.